the best of the best take the field one more time. Hey, it's the coach. This is the NFL Pro Bowl on EA Sports. Coming up, the next to last game on the NFL calendar just moments away. The AFC and NFC stars, they're ready. I'll check you again at halftime. But for the call of the Pro Bowl, let's hand it over to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, much appreciated, Coach, as we welcome all of you to our exclusive coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Coming up, it's the penultimate game of the NFL calendar, AFC versus NFC in the NFL Pro Bowl game. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, it's the Pro Bowl. You never really know what to expect, so I guess I'll ask you, what do you expect? Well, in recent years, it has turned into an absolute offensive explosion, hasn't it? Games in the 50s are not out of line. What you're hoping is that some of these great defenders have a chance to adjust and react and maybe narrow that down a little bit. But I will say, this game is tilted heavily towards the offense's advantage. Excitement? Well, we got that in abundance as this Pro Bowl is underway from Orlando, Florida. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. So out comes the NFC for their opening drive. And a glance at the tall signal caller, standing 6-6. And what I'm looking for from him today, the things every quarterback is looking to do lead his team to a victory. Doesn't matter whether he's throwing it, running it, handing it off, however he has to do it, as well as exhibiting some leadership, that's what he's trying to accomplish. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. 14 yards there on the first play from scrimmage. Now the first carry for Dalvin Cook. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, a tight, sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. Call that a loss of five yards on the play, and that'll make it a second down. Cook following the penalty, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. To throw on third down, Herbert, he gets this to Devontae Adams. And this won't be enough. A good, secure tackle, and they stop him a few yards shy at the 46. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game, but it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go and make the tackle right away. So here comes the AFC for their opening drive. Leading this unit will be the big arm man out of Texas Tech. Tenth pick in the 2017 draft, Patrick Mahomes. I know he's not showing it on the outside, but inside, he's got to be celebrating because think about all the quarterbacking we saw in the AFC this year. Five or six guys could have earned this honor. He got the nod, a real feather in his cap. Here's a carry for James Conner of the Steelers. The limited running room as he'll get about three to the 21. Time for a check of the starting offensive unit here for the AFC. And since it's a Pro Bowl roster, you can have 11 guys from 11 different teams trying to get on the same page. You know that's no easy feat. So line communication calls, that's big. Audibles, hand signals, you want to make sure everyone is connected so no one gets hurt. Now a pass that's taken in by Hill, and he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. Roughing the passer, defense. Well, they'll get the yardage, but they hate to see him take that hit. You're always trying to cool off a big-time guy throwing the ball. 
but you have to know when to back off, pull up, and not hit him. There's the penalty. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. It's a 10-yard pickup, and that's enough to move the chains. And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I want you to know, I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film. You said, write down the word vision for him. It was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was, because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him. And if that continues, it could be a long afternoon for those guys trying to play some defense. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. Check down. A look at the starters defensively now for the NFC. And as expected, they're speeding talent everywhere you look on this Pro Bowl roster. Let's keep an eye on the secondary because they're going to be tested in a big way. It's the Pro Bowl. Not many running plays. The ball will be in the air on almost every snap. Fortunately for them, roster full of cornerbacks who are used to playing on an island. On second and 12, Mahomes toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. The all-pro linebacker, Luke Keekley right there on the coverage, stride for stride. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. That's Luke Keekley with a sack. And there they bring pressure from the inside and they get home. Yeah, hard to block everyone, isn't it? And on this play, <laughs> someone did not get blocked. He's the one who got home. The AFC punt team out there now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. There, this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. Here's the NFC offense set to take over again and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start to... And I think he's going to go. They're not going to get him. Pass the 20. And he does take it in for the touchdown, but a flag on the field, and I don't think this is going to stand. Yeah, don't put the points on the board just yet. Brutal, so take away the long touchdown. It's a cruel game sometimes, partner. They run the counter with Cook, and the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. But well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. On second down, Cook. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. Oh, good night, baby. Good night, baby. And on this offensive unit, your thoughts on Travis Frederick. He's a quarterback's best friend. Sets all the line calls and blocks so aggressively. Let's go. Booty base. We got it. We got it. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. That's a tremendous group effort there because when you talk about offensive lines, the best ones talk about guys that play in harmony, in sync, and getting things done, and they did that on that play. Yeah, especially on third and one. Got to be in sync, and they were. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Cook. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. On second down, it's Cook. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy's setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. First down, here's the run with Cook. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. 
Well, the starting defense now for the AFC. Harrison Smith is a player I love to watch. Whether he's ranging deep as a free safety or near the line of scrimmage where he makes more plays, keep your eyes on him. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. A quick throw out to Adams on the perimeter. Pushing the foul, roughing the passer, defense. So mark off the yardage for roughing the passer. And I've seen this before. On a screen pass, not only are you rushing the passer, you're rushing him deeper than normal. And I think a little frustration kicks in at the end. You're going to hit him anyway when you shouldn't. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. Operating from the gun, Herbert. And he can't hang on to it. Nearly picked. He's known for his hands defensively, but instead it just brings up fourth down. I know ultimately that feels like a good defensive play, but I know it's really not. They had a chance to keep points off the board. Now they have a chance to kick a field goal by missing that shot. Yeah, especially at this spot in the field. He's got to be upset he couldn't come up with that INT. Well, no surprise there. Extremely reliable during the regular season. Bailed his team out time and again. Knocks another one through this time in the Pro Bowl. The offense for the AFC set to go now. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. On first and 10 is Connor. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. On second down now, it's Connor. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what'll be a third and four. Mahomes gonna throw. And it's complete to Kelsey. And he's got the first down before being taken down at the 46. Mahomes to his KC teammate Kelsey for the AFC first. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Mahomes now to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. Travis Kelsey, the Pro Bowl tight end, the intended target, and that'll bring up second down. On second down, Connor looking for space. They get six here after the incompletion, and it'll leave them with a third and four. Single, 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 single. From the gun on third down, Mahomes complete the tight end, Kelsey. And this will move the sticks yet again as the tackle's going to be made at the NFC's 22-yard line. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What are the guys in the locker room calling? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. Offense. They get the former number six overall pick, Quentin Nelson, out of Notre Dame that time. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. They run with Connor. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Throwing on second and long, Mahomes. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. 
They complete it to Hill. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. And Myers able to knock it through, and that will tie us at 3-3. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone, get you go. six? Here we go. Here we go. Ready to begin their next drive here, the NFC offense. And after the field goal last time, let's see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the line. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Ed Oliver busting through to get him for a loss of six. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Second and long. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Throwing on third and long. Herbert, this is complete to Michael Thomas. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up. Keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. And a nice special teams job here. This is going to be down inside the 10 at the 7-yard line. Absolutely love the flexibility of these punters. Their leg drive, able to get it way up in the air. And that allows the punt team to get down there and down it inside the 10 because they've had some time. A little jet sweep to start the drive. And he's going to take this up past the 10 to about the 11. In on the stop, the former Georgia Bulldog, Roquan Smith. And movement up front looks like a false start for the AFC. And that'll set him back five. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Now Connor. And he'll be hit and dropped for a loss at the five-yard line. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker, and what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. And he'll be out of bounds up past the 10-yard line. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. I think that call was made not so much to try and get the first down, although <laughs> they would have taken it if they could have gotten it, but to give their punter a little bit of space and try and help out their defense. Yeah, they got the safe completion on third. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially, give him 15. And the NFC will take over first and 10. Check 50, check 50. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. From the gun, Herbert firing quickly here, and that's complete. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. The numbers for the NFC on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. They're up against a third and one situation. Operating from the gun, Herbert. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. On first down, Herbert. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. They run the counter. It's Cook. 
They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. The offense on third down tonight, two for five to this point. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. From the gun, Herbert. Wide open receiver complete. And that's going to move the sticks again here as the tackle's made at the AFC's 15-yard line. This will be their first trip to the red zone. They've got a first and 10 at the 15. Now a run with Cook. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Operating from the gun, Herbert. And he will score. Touchdown, NFC. From three yards out. And the NFC has taken the lead. Aldrich Rosas on for the extra point. And oh, it's blocked. And the AFC has it. And he gets it past the 30, but not much further than that. And the extra point attempt snuffed down. I know it's easy to kind of shrug off a blocked extra point, but this game is shaping up to be a tight one. The second half, this could prove crucial. Yeah, we might look back on this one. We'll have to wait let's and go, see. Let's go, let's go. The AFC offensive unit getting set to take over. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 15 yards on the play, first down. They'll run on first down. Connor. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Out of the shotgun, they'll run with Connor. And he'll only get a yard, maybe two, up to the 46. The AFC thus far on third down. Two for five to this point. This will be third and five. Throwing now is Mahomes. He is going to find Hill here. And this will move the sticks yet again as the tackle is going to be made at the NFC's 28. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. Had a little arc on it. He's got to find a way to get his head around and make a play on the football. On first down, it's Connor. Akeem Hicks that time on the tackle. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. And his throw is going to be incomplete. His favorite target, Travis Kelsey, the intended receiver. And it's third down. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. It's Hill, complete. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And he will score. Touchdown, AFC. A five-yard touchdown. And now they can recapture the lead if they can make the PAT. 
Now, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Jason Myers now for the extra point. And he's able to put it through. So a nice drive put together there. They go 75 yards in nine plays. And it ends with an AFC touchdown. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. This is taken at his four. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. The offense for the NFC ready to get their next drive started. On first and 10, Herbert. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. Now Cook, he's got it off the draw. And he'll be down at the 46. Well, they go from 146 to the other on a pickup of eight. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Second and two. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. And we remind you, coming up at the half, we'll join who, Charles? The coach. <laughs> the coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from games in progress, as well as scores from earlier today. The sorry, coach. Sorry, we get slap happy up here sometimes. Instead of a third and one run, they go pass, and they get 12 yards out of it. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. From the gun, Herbert. It's caught here by Adams. Stops short of the 25, but that second effort got him a couple extra. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. Throwing on first down. Herbert looking left side. It's complete. He's got it. Now the NFC going to take a timeout. They're second as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Operating from the gun. Herbert. And this is Cook with a grab. Nothing at all on that one. It'll be second down. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Second and six. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Devontae Adams, the intended receiver. But now it's third and goal. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third? And Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Now the AFC going to use the first of their timeouts. As it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. And Rosas puts this one through. And they take the lead here by two, 12-10. Now the drive ends in just three, but they'll take it. Looks like they'll head to the locker room barring something unfortunate in front on the scoreboard. Yeah, they may not be jumping up and down and celebrating because they have the lead, but still, any little momentum in a game like this is important to a team, and they'll feel real good about going in and regrouping, knowing that they are out in front. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground, and defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. Now the AFC going to take a timeout. It's their second as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. James Conner, the running back, his intended receiver, and it's third down. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. He'll get that one complete to Conner. 
And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. Here's Mahomes to throw. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. So we have come upon halftime of this Pro Bowl with the NFC on top of the AFC. As we'll send you across town to our studios here in Orlando and check in with the coach at our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half for the answer? We turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. That's fielded in the end zone, and no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Tyreek Hill making his way back out towards the huddle, and he's racking up the yardage. You see the catches, and defensively, what do you do here to stop a guy like this? You keep trying to change things up because nothing is really working. Whether you have a man on him, two people, you're showing different types of zone defenses combined with man-to-man -man coverages, try and change things up and eventually get to the point where maybe you put enough people on him, they won't throw the ball to him anymore. And he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. Give him five on the carry there and it'll be second down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Make it now three tackles for a loss in this game, one for each quarter. And for a guy who played defense in college, I can just tell you that he's feeling very satisfied right now by what he's doing, but he's elated because he knows what he's doing is helping his team win the game right now, making some big-time plays, getting into the offense's backfield and spilling everything. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. Now Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. Just a one-yard pickup on the play, and it'll be fourth down. Partner, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards, well struck. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Now the NFC heading out for their first drive of the second half. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude <laughs> by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. Again, it's Cook. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it, that's going to be 15 yards. So the face mask, quite a blessing there as they'll start out of harm's way with a first and 10. From the gun, Herbert. And he's got him. Got his man on the end route. Complete. And all the way in for the touchdown. A big play there. 49 yards. And the NFC able to widen their advantage. Everybody likes to see the long ball thrown, but when you throw it underneath and you see someone catch the ball, secure it, make their moves, and then turn it into bigger plays, that's a lot of fun to watch as well. Roses to add the extra point. And he atones for his miss the first time around as this one is up and good to extend their lead. 
The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The AFC offense making their way back out. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Well, we're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And the NFC will take over deep in their own territory with a first and 10. The NFC offense heading back onto the field, and they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Cook, and he'll be taken down at the 18. Give him four on the ground there. They're now left with third and six. On third down, Herbert, hard throw, incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. And when it's said and done, it's a 58-yard punt. And the AFC will take over first and 10. Mahomes in the AFC now with a first and 10 at their own 26. A run with counter on first down, going to get about five. Second and five coming up. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. From the 31, Mahomes. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. They got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that one. Mahomes now on first down, and he's got the hook up to Landry. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Now a first carry for their fullback. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. And he will have the first down as he gets this to the 47. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember, the last drive, they went three and out. Mahomes going to pull it out and keep it himself. He completes this to Sutton. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. It's a first down. They'll run on first down. Connor, about three yards there to the 27. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Again, a run with Connor. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Mahomes. 
And he'll find a man. That's Landry. And he will score. Touchdown, AFC. Jarvis Landry, 27 yards as they have now chopped this lead down to three. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Extra point up and through by Myers. And that will shave one more off this lead. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. Ready to begin their next drive here, the NFC offense. Certainly want to avoid what they had to do last possession, and that was punt the football, because this, this game's starting to tighten up. In a basketball sense, you'd think about taking a little bit of the air out of the ball, right? Maybe milk some clock, limit the possessions. In this case, they might want to do the same thing, but control the game offensively, put together some first downs, put together a drive, and keep it away from them. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. And he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. Five yards on the carry there, and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go. Looking to throw. Herbert. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Let's go, baby. Let's go. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. Well, that didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of sea ball, get ball. Yeah, he's got it. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. That catch good for eight, but still, it's third and goal now. They'll run for it with Cook. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. One of the things that really impressed me about Joey Bosa is that he doesn't sacrifice the run game trying to get sacks. This guy really knows how to hold the point of attack, great leverage, and then goes and sheds people and makes plays. And it's 6'5", 270, just a monster. Absolute monster with a really high motor. So he remains perfect, three for three in the field goal department. And it's so important for any offense to have an ace like him up their sleeve, isn't it? Because now, you know what his range is, and as soon as your offense gets there, you're pretty much counting on three points going up on the board. Back out is the AFC offense. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They go play fake. Mahomes. And he's going to have the hook up to Sutton. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Roughing the passer defense. 
Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. And eventually he's taken down here. Great coverage downfield, resulting in the sack. Akeem Hicks able to run him down for a loss of 12 that time. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Jarvis Landry, the intended receiver, and it's third down. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. Gets this one to Hill. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. And this will move the sticks yet again as the tackle's going to be made at the NFC's 13-yard line. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. On second and a couple, Mahomes toward the pylon, caught, and he will score. Touchdown, AFC. A five-yard touchdown, and the AFC has retaken the lead. Great play, but admittedly, the tackling in the Pro Bowl, Charles, not always the best. I would say that they're not quite as committed to getting a guy on the ground in the Pro Bowl as maybe during the regular season and, of course, in the playoffs, but still, heck of an individual effort there on that run. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. Working from the gun, Mahomes, and he's got it. So the two-point conversion is good, and they add on to their fourth quarter lead. So they make the decision. They want a three-point lead versus a two-point lead, and they got it. Yeah, at this stage of the game, it seems like the exact right thing to do. Put a little pressure on your defense, but the biggest thing now is you make... Now a hit and a loose football. And a great return here gets this one all the way down to the 26-yard line. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. The offense for the NFC ready to get their next drive started. And one thing you'd like to see in a Pro Bowl, a competitive contest. We've got that just like the last two seasons. A one-score game as we nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Carl Nassib gets him for a loss of five. He is so tough to handle on the blitz, and that's exhibit A. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Second and 15. And Thomas has it. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. The numbers for the NFC on third down, they've converted five times in their many chances thus far. This will be third and six. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. 
Tyreek Hill making his way back out towards the huddle. And I know that they double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. Again, it's Connor. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Defense. Boy, tight game like this, fourth quarter, personal foul penalties, a no-no. Yeah, we know the emotions are running high, the tensions are the same. Who can control them best could ultimately win it. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. They stay on the ground. Here's Connor again. In on the tackle there, Luke Keekley. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. On the counter, it's Connor. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Seven yards there and a first down. On first down. It's Connor, and I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and it'll be second and 11. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. So a jump there defensively. And it's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. And now they face a second and six after the penalty. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. The 20. They complete it to Hill. Oh, and the big play's going to get even bigger as penalty flags are down, and I believe they're going to get a face mask penalty tacked on. Trailing in the fourth, this close of a game, that's a penalty you just can't afford. It's an absolute killer, and it's one that drives coaches and teammates insane. So now then, the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. Here's Connor. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal to throw, it's Mahomes. Under pressure now, and he's gonna go down. Sack back around the eight. Fletcher Cox able to drop him for a loss of four from his defensive tackle spot. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. So decision time now, because a field goal keeps it a one-score game. What are you thinking? Well, I'm looking at the down and distance, and that's where the issue comes in. It's not short enough that it's a no-brainer and you go for it. You have to analyze this one. To me, you take the field goal, take the points. I don't think you want to risk coming away with nothing. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. Well, and a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. On first down, Herbert, and that's complete to Adams. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. So second in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. Second down in inches. Gets this to a standout receiver, Thomas. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 15 yards on the play, first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Operating from the gun, Herbert. There goes a deep ball, end zone. 
And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Harrison Smith. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, this had trouble written all over from the start. He's got two extra defensive backs in the game he's got to deal with. They're in a dime set. So everywhere he's looking, he's seeing a different color jersey. And sure enough, this one winds up being intercepted. The AFC offensive unit getting set to take over. And it's great to see the Stars all out in one place, but in terms of football, what's really great to see is a very entertaining Pro Bowl as we are tied in the fourth quarter. And how many of these guys thought going into this game after a pretty... Hills hit, and he lost the football. And it's scooped up by the NFC. And he will carry this one in. Touchdown, NFC. The offenses have success. You can say they've run wild a little bit. Time for the defenses to get into the act, and one does here. Nothing like a little bit of revenge for the defense. They've had to deal with it all game long. Both offenses going up and down the field. How about it when they take the ball away and take it to the other end zone? Rosas now to add the PAT. And they have taken the lead here in this fourth quarter. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Fielded about a yard deep. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Let's go, The AFC offense set to take their next drive. And let's just say they're going to be looking to start over on this drive. A few moments ago, they were in the exact situation, but their first play led to a fumble that was returned for six. Yeah, you definitely have to have a short memory to play in the NFL. you got to remember what you did wrong so you don't repeat it. But you can't dwell on it because then you will repeat it. And that's what you don't want to do. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. And throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Hill, the intended receiver once again, but it'll be second down. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Throwing now is Mahomes. That's complete to his running back, Connor. They'll give him a yard on the play, and that'll make it third down. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. They're going deep for Hill. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Trying to erase that deficit all at once. One big shot. He took it. Unfortunately for him, incomplete. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. Face mask. Defense. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 against your squad. Now they're going to get about three here out of this first down run, and that'll bring up second and seven. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Here's the second and seven. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Oh, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. When a good play is made on defense, oftentimes leverage is the key to everything. Defensive line not getting turned. All the other guys making sure they're in the right spot. And on that play, they were able to stop him short of a first down. The offense for the AFC set to go now. 
These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the side and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. They'll look to throw. That one complete to Hill. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. On the draw, Connor. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. Defense. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that one looked pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five yard or a 15 yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. A pass there complete to Sutton. And he'll get this one down near the 20 yard line, just shy of the 20. He'll look to throw. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Landry again, the intended target. That'll bring up second down. I guess you can't be afraid to take those chances late in the game. He tried to fit that one in there. Nice job, though, defensively. But to your point, it was a nice job of knocking the ball away. But you're also right. You can't be afraid to take those chances. That means your guy's going downfield to catch the ball. They've got to elevate their game and come down with these in order to keep your offense moving. Now the yeah. NFC going to take a timeout their second as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Myers' kick is good. And with a little over a minute to play, they have taken the lead. Big kick right there to give them the lead in the fourth, but there is still time left for a final drive. Did they score too soon? Post game will tell us, right? Depending on what happens on this drive, that's how we'll analyze it. If the other team scores, they scored too soon. If they somehow hold on, they manage the clock exactly right. Ready to begin their next drive here, the NFC offense. They're only in need of a field goal, a decent amount of time on the clock. So tell me if I'm wrong. You don't have to be too panicked here. No, not at all. I agree with you. And this is where your preparation and your confidence comes into play. They've worked on these situations. Yeah, they practice this all the time. Oh, they practice it all the time. They know what they want to get done. And in a lot of cases, the great competitors, they love this situation. They think they can go ahead and get it done. They practiced it. We'll see if practice makes perfect. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. Back to throw. This is complete to Michael Thomas. And a good job on the tackle there as they get him down shy of the first on the 35-yard stripe. Back to throw. Clock still rolling here. Fourth down. Yeah, they've got to remember they cannot spike it. Fourth down, as you noted. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the AFC is going to get the football back in great field position. False start. Offense. Well, maybe he was going to be involved in that play from his tight end spot, and he jumped. Yeah, don't tell me that those guys don't like to block. That's what we say about them nowadays in the NFL. But I think he felt like he was one of the key pieces in that play and wanted to get out and execute the assignment very fast. And they will take a knee here. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. So Charles, final thoughts on this AFC victory. Bottom line, nobody appeared to be seriously hurt. That's the first thing we look for in this game. Well played, a lot of fun, a lot of excitement. I think that everyone's going to go home pretty happy, especially the AFC since they won the game. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody.